it helps you sleep well. Um, it fights cancer. I mean, the benefits of orgasm is unbelievable. It's literally, it creates anti-pain medication. Chemicals, creates anti-pain chemicals in your body. Uh, how many of you are used to having orgasm before you sleep at night? So you're masturbating, you have an orgasm, and then boom, you sleep. Or you're nervous, you're upset or whatever, and you're having an afternoon or evening orgasm, and then all of a sudden you're relaxed. How could this be a bad thing? I want to know that. I want somebody to tell me that an action that produces and contributes to recreating human beings and brings smile to your face and makes you peaceful and happy and blissful, how could it be a bad thing? How did that happen to be shameful and bad except to control you? Except for society, for the establishment to disconnect you from yourself. And ultimately, sex can lead you to self-realization. It's one of the fastest, quickest way that you can come to full self-realization because to tantra sexuality, divine oneness through the union of the two opposites. So the two opposites merge into each other and the two opposites, they lose their sense of separate individuality into the one. So the individual ego disappears into the divine consciousness. And there's only one left. So I want to know what part of this is shameful and it's bad. Except 2,000, 3,000 years ago, Whomever started to create this kind of nonsense, this stupid stupidity mentality that sex is dirty, sex is bad, and should not be practiced, or anytime you're masturbating, something bad is going to happen to you, is the only thing that comes to my mind is to control to control you. And through this control and shame and guilt, look what we have created. The number one thing we have created is that we have, we're able to deprive ourselves and create a culture and a society that sexually is very repressed and very frustrated. So then, as a result of that, sexuality has gone underground and it created pornography, which is a multi, it's one of the biggest industries in the world. It's basically number one industry. It's even more money-making than the arms and the weapon industry. Pornography, it's number one. So, and how do our children or the new generation of the kids learn about sexuality? Is they go on the internet and they watch porn. But that's not the way you're going to learn intimacy of how to be intimate with your partner. That's not the wrong, right education. So we're going to have the wrong education.
because the pornography has nothing to do with intimacy and tantra sexuality. It doesn't teach you anything in that area. And actually what it does, it's, it actually damages. So, so that's one, one part of it. And then because of this being deprived and sexually being frustrated as the whole, then it creates prostitution. So we have created, which is one of the oldest uh, occupation on the planet of being a sex worker. Now, I don't have anything against sex workers. Uh, I'm not putting them down or anything. Uh, don't take me wrong. But what I'm saying is this mentality, this deceit of that we've been under the deception, and we've been programmed and conditioned to believe that sex is bad and it's shameful and we should feel guilty has created prostitution as well as has created all kinds of sexual dysfunctions and to the point that it's become pervert so just look around you and how many women how many kids from whether boys or girls but let's say mostly girls have been traumatized sexually in early age how many of you have been approached and touched inappropriately either by your parents or by your cousins or by a babysitter or different people that they have traumatized you, whether you've been just touched inappropriately or you've been raped or you've been abused in some sexual way. This is all because the church, the mosque, the, the uh, religion is condemning and brainwashing, the society is brainwashing us that sex is a bad thing. And naturally, it goes underground.